presentation about the uh, uh, three short presentation about uh, the fermentation media and the growth media uh, for enzymes and strata cultures. I will try in this presentation to concentrate on the um, uh, halal critical points. Um, in general, uh, in, in general, uh, there, there are here um, the biotechnology uh, method is a pretty old uh, method, and uh, uh, also in the early history, um, um, was here related to food and uh, shelter, including the domes uh, uh, domestications. So uh, now there are here the new and the modern uh, technology we can produce many. Uh, vulnerable products by using this uh, technology. Uh, so, um, so I'll I will talk here uh, uh, about I'm talking here about the, the starter cultures. So the starter cultures uh, um, are uh, microorganisms um, that. Uh, are used in the production of uh, culture dairy uh, products, for example, the yogurt, cheese, uh, and starter cultures can be also used here as uh, probiotics uh, for the human health is really uh, important. Uh, there are here many uh, uh, the applications here, you can see in the picture, uh, in the, for, for example, battery industry, in the meat industry, their industry, cheese, uh, butter, for example, and here, uh, properties. So, regarding here the production uh, uh, of these starter cultures, um, so the first step is here the uh, preparation of the uh, starter culture, uh, of the growth media, or the fermentation media. The fermentation media, uh, so here the preparation of growth media or fermentation media the fermentation media contains uh, the main uh, uh, resource for the microorganism for example polynucleic uh, protein uh, elements vitamins amino acids but this media should should be or must be actually uh, uh, sterilized in order to avoid any uh, in order to avoid any cross contamination with uh, other microorganisms. So, um, the second step is here the cultivation of the growth uh, of the microorganism. So, it means the microorganisms uh, are cultivated in the small uh, fermenter, uh, which is called the seed fermenter. So, in the laboratory. <coughs> There are here many fermenters, and during this step, many um, the um, um, many samples should be taken to uh, be sure that there is no cross contamination uh, in this fermenters. The main step here is here the cultivation uh, uh, in the main fermenter or bioreactors. Uh, these bioreactors are. Um, big and uh, huge facilities um, um, we can control here for example the uh, pH uh, uh, all parameters such as uh, all parameters such as um, uh, pH uh, and uh, uh, oxygen for example uh, so um, when we uh, reach to the uh, uh, the harvesting, uh, this is here the harvesting uh, time. So we have to harvest the microorganisms. So uh, the next step is here uh, the downstream, uh, the microorganisms should be um, cleaned uh, from uh, the waste, for example, or from other uh, contaminants. So the next step is here the cooling uh, and the centrifugation to uh, eliminate here the rest of fermentation media. And the microorganism should be here um, 
uh, should be uh, um, uh, or some uh, carriers, for example, multiple stream or dextrose or lactose can be able to be to the microorganism in order to protect them. And finally, the microorganisms um, uh, are uh, uh, actually uh, cold and uh, are frozen. Uh, all uh, spread, uh, all um, uh, uh, all dried, freeze dried. It, it depends on there are many uh, methods for some of these freeze drying. So in this case, we can um, uh, we can protect the microorganism for a long time, and also we can minimize also the. Uh, um, or we can also protect the activity of this microorganism and can be stored in the refrigerator or uh, at uh, minus 20. So, um, they, regarding the halal, uh, uh, or before we uh, uh, said here, before we talk here about uh, halal, critical uh, points. Uh, these microorganisms have, uh, uh, or the static cultures have actually uh, uh, enemy. It's here the uh, bacteriophage. Bacteriophage, uh, they are the viruses. Uh, they um, uh, attack the, the microorganism, uh, the bacteria, and they, they can destroy them. In this case, so uh, uh, it has, of course, a bad effect on the uh, the final product, for example, here uh, the bad flavors and taste, for example, green cheese or uh, salami uh, structure for yogurt or some uh, sensory degradation. So, in this case, uh, we have to, uh, or the, in the industry, the microorganism should be all, always checked, and if there is any problem here with bacteria, page, the microorganism. Uh, or the new uh, uh, starter cultures should be uh, produced. So, uh, we have we have faced here uh, during our uh, work, uh, I was once uh, the company uh, which is producing starter cultures and uh, during the audit, I have found that this uh, that this company is uh, was using actually uh, fish blood. Uh, this fish blood is collected from a um, special uh, uh, fish, in, I think, in Thailand, and they buy this uh, this uh, blood, and uh, this blood contains uh, uh, very important. Uh, contains uh, very important uh, materials, very important materials for the uh, microorganisms. For microorganisms, uh, because uh, the microorganisms uh, want to uh, have uh, special fatty acids, and uh, the starter cultures uh, need need actually these uh, uh, materials, which are contained, uh, which are uh, in the uh, blood. So, but as, as I know, uh, so fish blood can be also used for other products here, for example, here in, in the ice cream. And they are here, uh, as a Muslim, I know that blood is not halal, uh, but uh, I know also that uh, um, fish uh, in general is halal. Um, we, uh, as a technologist, uh, we wrote a report and we gave all this information to our Islamic scholars and uh, uh, we have in the Islamic department. And uh, so they have discussed about this issue. If the starter culture, um, uh, which are cultivated on the growth media, which contains uh, this fish blood, halal or not halal, because I told you there are many, many uh, um, there are different points of views and different meanings about the fish uh, blood. So, uh, after a long discussion, uh, um, uh, after a long discussion, uh, we have accepted it.
was uh, according to Hanafi Madhab, uh, the fish and uh, fish blood is uh, uh, fish uh, fish blood is halal, and we have accepted it according to uh, Hanafi Madhab. But it was here little bit confusion because they in other madhabs, uh, especially the Shafi'i madhab, they did not accept blood. Uh, uh, also from uh, fish. So it means here uh, in the gold media we can find many critical uh, materials actually uh, uh, regarding halal. And uh, these materials uh, can be also affect uh, the final products and I mean, the starter cultures and also uh, the, uh, the enzymes. So, uh, when we talk here about the microorganisms, there are a lot of microorganisms which are uh, used uh, for uh, producing uh, viable materials. For example, here, uh, enzymes, starter cultures, vitamins, uh, hormones, for example, flavoring agents, and so on. Um, one of these uh, microorganisms is uh, Coronabacteria glutamicum. Uh, this bacteria is very important bacteria because uh, uh, in the industry uh, 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 it is used here to uh, produce uh, glutamic acid, it's uh, uh, amino acid. And this amino acid is very important here uh, for uh, health and also for, uh, uh, it is also used in, in many pharmaceutical and cosmetic products and also in the food in the many food products. So uh, during the cultivation of the production of this microorganism, uh, very famous media, selected media can be used also in the laboratory. It's the BHI media, uh, uh, growth media. And this media contains many critical uh, materials. For example, here, uh, brain, heart, uh, and vision uh, from swine. It's the heart material. It contains also a uh, peptic uh, digest of animal tissue. It can also contain uh, some uh, uh, milk uh, products or milk, milk, uh, uh, milk derivatives. For example, here, uh, uh, casein. Now, this casein is hydrolyzed by using uh, uh, enzymes. For example, here, uh, pepsin from uh, pork, from swine. So all these materials are uh, uh, critical materials and the cultivation media or the growth media is actually haram media. And uh, uh, it's really the first step to cultivate this uh, microorganism. So it means um, if the uh, if haram media or growth media is used in the production, so the final products, uh, the microorganisms or the enzymes are called amylosis in this case, so, also, uh, glucose is used as a source of uh, carbohydrate in the growth of fermentation. So, and the glucose is usually is produced by using enzymatic uh, <coughs> method. So, some enzymes, uh, <coughs> some enzymes are uh, 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 are used in the, uh, the production, and these enzymes can be also uh, uh, critical enzymes. It could be from the animal, it could be from animal sources, or from uh, uh, biological sources, microbial sources. So, uh, animal, so uh, animal sources, uh, so the enzymes are critical uh, uh, regarding halal, because the enzymes can be obtained uh, uh, from uh, swine, for example, the hypsin or trypsin, uh, and also microbial enzymes can, can be also uh, questionable uh, materials because uh, enzymes can be also produced or are produced by using the micro, uh, 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 by using the biotechnology method, and uh, in this method, uh, many color materials can be used in the fermentation. So there are here some uh, materials which are uh, uh, or ingredients of uh, the growth media, 
and these ingredients uh, uh, are actually used in many uh, fermentation. For example, the meat extract, in this case beef, it could be also from swine extract. So uh, beef bone is also used, uh, which is uh, hydrolyzed by using some enzymes. Uh, also, uh, um, milk uh, derivatives, which are also hydrolyzed by using enzymes. And these enzymes can be uh, obtained from uh, swine. It's here critical materials. So, it's the other example here for the usage of microorganisms to produce a valuable and important material such as uh, amino acids. So, uh, these microorganisms um, are uh, genetic, uh, so, uh, genetic modified to. Uh, uh, to produce his special uh, products. For example, this uh, uh, microorganism, uh, which is uh, uh, genetic modified to produce one uh, product, in this case, the amino acid in an So the problem is here um, uh, the genetic engineering process, uh, the genes from uh, pork from the swine can be also used uh, 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 to produce uh, special products. The main example here, or the most uh, famous uh, example here, is the production of uh, uh, insulin, the hormone insulin, which is uh, obtained or produced by the Escherichia coli, it's a microorganism. And the genes from uh, uh, pork uh, pancreas uh, uh, is used actually uh, in this microorganism to promote or to uh, estimate uh, uh, or to increase the yield of uh, uh, insulin production. So, other example here is here the production of citric acid from uh, fungi as well as mosquito. Is uh, produced uh, is used actually to uh, produce this uh, uh, material. Uh, the problem is here with the uh, fermentation media, that uh, before the fermentation media could contain many uh, important, uh, many haram materials. So, uh, regarding the enzymes, uh, as you know, enzymes uh, are the uh, proteins. Um, but they have uh, um, uh, many uh, advantages uh, and uh, they are used in many, we have a lot of uh, applications for them in industrial, uh, uh, in industry, uh, technical industry, textile, for example, food, paper industry, and uh, dairy industry. So the enzymes are very important. Uh, materials and uh, they have, of course, many uh, advantages. Um, so, um, the main, uh, so um, enzymes, for example, here the infratase um, can be also used to produce here glucose because. Uh, 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 because uh, the uh, saccharose uh, is consisting uh, consist of two uh, monosaccharide and sacchar saccharide, the are glucose and uh, fructose, and when we cut this uh, bind, so we can here produce or uh, we can obtain here the uh, glucose. So, for example, here the enzyme interface uh, uh, can be also used to produce a glucose. So the application of enzymes here in the industry, there are, are many uh, applications here. Uh, for example, here in the food industry, uh, baby food, for example, and juices, for example, such as the uh, victimies, uh, uh, um, uh because uh, these enzymes can, uh, are used actually in the food juice industry to increase here the yield uh, of the production. In the dairy industry, for example, in the, uh, as a uh, uh, vignette, and uh, uh, to produce here cheese and also 
uh, left case, for example, uh, it's enzyme, uh, which is uh, used here for the uh, production of uh, lactose-free uh, products. So uh, there are here many uh, enzymes, uh, and these enzymes are really important just here only in food, but uh, 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 other applications, for example, in textile or the cleaning materials, cleaning agents, so uh, they are really important here. So, uh, as you know here, the, there are here many enzymes, and here the organism and the microorganisms which are, uh, which are used to uh, produce these uh, uh, enzymes, and here also the usage of these uh, enzymes. So we have, uh, I have already mentioned the uh, um, genetic uh, engineering and uh, trans, uh, uh, transgenic. So transgenic it means here uh, some uh, genes from animals, for example, or plants can be also used or injected in, uh, in the genome of the microorganism to produce a special product or to um, uh, improve uh, the production of special uh, products. So, there are of course many advantages of using genetic modified microorganisms. Okay, for example, here we uh, can increase uh, the uh, production of the uh, enzymes, we can here uh, uh, produce a high quality uh, enzymes. And also here, the, uh, um, about the, the price here, we can produce a lot of uh, uh, enzymes in the short term, and also the costs uh, are not so. So it was the original usual idea about the uh, uh, enzymes, strata cultures, the production of these products, and also the main halal uh, critical uh, points. Uh, regarding uh, this. So, thank you very much.